all right guys i greet you all i would like to welcome you back to my youtube channel find out i want us to look at pssd entry planting and structural steel drawing so this is a steel drawing so i want us to quickly look at uh, uh, question one this one question one which they say is a compulsory question one compulsory so uh, I want us to quickly look at this one guys so they're simply saying figure one shows two views of a square to a rectangular hopper so this is the square to a rectangular hopper so these are the views given in what in first angle orthographic projection even though the projection a symbol is not given but if they're like this you can simply tell what this is going to be our front view this one our top view you understand so 1.1 1 .1, they are saying please draw the given views you'll be given three marks regardless of you draw them completely and you draw them according to the scale you understand you'll be out the how much three marks so 1.2 calculate the true length show all the constructional lines uh, show all the calculations on the drawing sheet so which means your 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 maths work it has to be shown to them you understand uh, answer to uh, answer to be into decimal uh, your answers you have to run it off into two decimal places okay so use the information from the question 1.2 and develop the pattern of the hopper open the hopper on the what on the line mark mark xx so in this case they are not telling us whether is it a, a half development or a full so if they are just saying uh, telling you like this you must know what is going to be a full development my brother you understand so the very first thing that we are going to do now is to draw this given view the way as we are is a uh, given the way as we see them using a what a scale one is to one you understand so i'm going to start a little bit upper left hand corner of my drone sheet so i'm going to start with what with the horizontal faint line like this and then i draw another vertical one you understand from this point where the intersecting shoulder i'm going to be like is this point you understand so i'm going to record 62 millimeter Sixty-two millimeter. There is my sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. Is that one? Then I can draw it. You understand? So from here to there is sixty-two millimeter. So now I see a vertical uh, going down line. Is they said it's forty-seven millimeter. So say 47 millimeter. This is 45, 6, 7 millimeter, which is that one. You can have what a vertical going down line, which is this one. You understand? Then from there, I can have this horizontal construction line. You understand? So this is orthographic projection. So you know, you must know. The law of orthographic projection says separate your views with 20 millimeters. So from here till there, I'm going to record the 20 millimeter. So which means in other ways, I'm approaching to draw the what the top view now. So there you go. So from here till there, the bottom part of my of my front view is how much. From here till there, the bottom part of my friend is still the same as from here till there, and it so it's going to be 50 millimeter. So I can record the 50 millimeter here. There you go, and have it dark. So to get this one from there till there, you simply join the two point which is we are using a 30 millimeter ruler every time when we join two points, okay. 
so then now from here till there is my width isn't it from here till here is my width of bread which is 50 millimeter Here is my 50 millimeter that is the half of 50 millimeter is my 25 understand so i can have it dark you understand so then i have a constructional faint line horizontally and this one faint for now is it a center is not a center so i cannot draw it as such you understand so i'll just draw it constructional line for now so from here till there is 50 which is what we have it right from our front view can have construction line that's going to be like this then I can have this one now solid from here till there which one is this one it's this one from B to C on it so then go back to my top view I can take this point vertically down as a construction line so that I can have this one dark from here to there dark here from here to there you understand which is this one from here to there from here to there A1 then from there I can have this one can have this one dark now from here to right there and have this one from here to right there and check it nicely there by your top view from here to there is so is what it's a say it's a hidden line so you draw it as such from here to there it's not a hidden line but from here to there it's a hidden line right so from here we threw the what the given view according to a scale one is to one. We've, we've already threw the given view according to the scale one is to one. So now what is going to be our second step? You know when you are doing calculations, when you are doing calculations, it is necessary to dimension your work. It is absolutely necessary to dimension your work. So please dimension your work. We are told Uguti from year to year is how much is 62. Have that 62. 62 millimeter. Right? Then from year to year, remember this one is my what? It's my front front view. This one is my top view. You understand? So from here to here is the height, which is the height is what? 57 millimeter. You understand? And then uh, the breadth from here to here, we are told what is 50 millimeter. There it is, 50 millimeter. We are told what is 50 millimeter. You understand? So from here to there, we are told what is 25 millimeter. So it is necessary to for you to do that. So from here to there is what is 50 millimeter. You understand? So then we are told to go to we have a point one here. We have a two there, which is that one. We have a what a three right here. Then I must have a po a, a, a four a point four down there. You understand? So again. I have a point A right here, exactly the way it is given. A is down here, there it is, and then a P, and then a C, and I must have a what a D right here. And they said X X is the joint. They said the X X is the what is the joint. So it is very much important to understand what is happening here. You understand? So uh, if you check the alphabetic point, we have A, B, C, D. So 
if we were to label these alphabetic points there by our friend view, I was going to have a point A here with a B here. You understand? Anyone? And then I was going to have a point C here with a D here. And with that X, X. Anyone? So, in terms of the numbers, I was going to have point 0.1 here. Do you see? It's now a little bit up. Yeah, one. So I was going to have a point one there with a point two. Yeah, one. Then I was a point three is going to be here with a point four, with an x again. So remember the set the x x is the joint. You understand? So the x x that's where they are actually separating it all together. Once you are at this extent, remember this is not graphical. But it's mathematically 1.2. Calculate the true length. Show all the calculations on the drawing sheet. We are expected to show all the calculations on the what? On the drawing sheet. So I am not going to do the graphical method. You understand? So look at your top view very well. Look at your top view very well. So we are expected to calculate the trend so that we develop. So myself, I normally start my development right opposite to the cutting plane, right opposite to the cutting plane. So in this case, the cutting plane is here, which is have, which was we have level what D and the four, D and the four. You understand? So now, I am going to have. An imaginary line that is going to start from B to 3. How? Come back to your development site. So I decide to get my development this space. So this is my given views. So in this space, I'm going to have my what? My, my calculations. So down here, I get what? A, 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 pro, a, a, a development. You understand? So now. I am going to start with the horizontal line, just out of dimension like this. Remember, I said I start right opposite to the what, to the cutting plane. So I'm going to have just the constructional line, faint like this, and then I just give a mark. So this mark, I am going to give it a name as point B. So this point B eh, is which one? Is this one there by our top our top view is which one is this one you understand so this B from here is which one is this one so remember the protocol we do not convert to true length or calculate to true length if we move from an alphabet to an alphabet so why do we have to calculate it because we were given we know what is the length between B and the C, we do not uh, we do not have to calculate it. We do not have to what to convert it. You understand? We'll be just taking it the way as it. In other ways, I will come to my development and and uh, record fifty millimeter. Even if I don't record it, I come to my top view. I take it the way as I can see it. So this is B two open it to C which is 50 millimeter right and now without disturbing my drawing numbers I come and place it at my point B and mark you understand and give a what a mark there so where it's marked is going to be my point C so now I can join point B to see dark dark so now with my eraser I don't need it to such an extent just erase it I don't need it to such an extent just erase it so which means I have a B C somewhere up here right somewhere up here I must get what point three point three which is which one you see this one you see this one you understand so, uh, 
push this on, it's not aligned. So how are we going to get that? How are we going to get that? So I'm going to have an imaginary line that is going to cut point B to 3. Remember, I'm looking for point 3. Imaginary line that's going to cut like this. So I have point B and the C. I'm looking for point three. So since I'm having two points, I can be able to get the what the third point. You understand? So now how? Which means I'll say in my step one, I'm calculating B. I'm one. I know point B, so I'm looking for point one. So that is why I'm saying B1. So I'm going to say B1 is equals to square root of x squared plus y squared plus h squared. So the h stand for what? Stand for your length. I, I mean, sorry, stand for the for your what? For your height. Do not forget that. Do not forget that. So now I'm going to say square root. Let's substitute now. How are we going to substitute x? So x, come back to your top view. So from here till here, we know. So and is behaving horizontal, which means any dimension behaving horizontal, we can substitute it at x. Any dimension behaving vertical, we can substitute it there by what at y. So from here till there, I am going to say it's 62. Remember, it's given. Why am I saying, why am I pulling it to such an extent? You understand? So that I will get the vertical component that is going to be along point 0.3. So do you see that it's now like I'm having a triangle that is upside down. It's facing down, which is point B and the point unknown and the point 3. So from point B to this unknown is how much? is 62 62 so which means i'm going to substitute my x with the 62 squared plus my y from that unknown point to the point that we are looking for is how much from that unknown point to the point that we are looking for is how much we will, we are told if i am going to say 50 we are told what to from a to b is how much is 50 so remember we are told it's 50 so which means if again from here to lay is 25 which means from here to lay is what is the half of 50 which is 25 so i'm going to substitute my my y as what is 25 squared plus my height do not forget your height you understand so my height in this case is going to be 47 47 squared so you can simply punch this one in your scientific cal calculator. So I'm going to say square root of what? Of 62 squared.